what is going on guys welcome to the RPJ YouTube channel and today we are bringing you guys the third episode of the raw series I'm sorry I kind of I had a couple hiccups there but this is the third episode of the raw series of the raw not the raw series but like the Smackdown vs raw series this is the third raw and next episode we'll have the third Smackdown and then the pay-per-view Judgment Day. Yeah, don't worry guys, you only have one more Raw to get until you get to the A-Show. Uh, yeah. And we have Mr. Rain of Raw returning What's going and on, Root Beer Milk of Smackdown returning for this episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm back from my family obligations just to watch this show crash and burn. And yeah, yeah, yeah. you say so. We should have them back for the next couple episodes. So let's just get straight into this one. You want to read this one, Mr. Rain? Sure. So, in a pre-show bout that had little heat and embarrassing wrestling, Chavo Guerrero Jr. defeated Ricky Morton in uh, 12 minutes and something by pinfall by using underhanded tactics. This bad boy got us a nice 37. Uh, definitely didn't lift the crowd like I was hoping, but you know it's Chavo. It's Chavo. Yeah. So yeah, you're bad boy. Emphasis on emphasis on the bad. I mean, oh, woof. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now let's just head into the main show. Let's get into the third episode of SmackDown. Let's yeah. do this. Alright, we kick off everything with the announcers hyping up the show and announcing that the main event here tonight will be Triple H versus Chris Jericho in the finals of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament, but it will not be for the world title. The World Heavyweight Championship will be contested in a triple threat match at Judgment Day with RVD in the match. So, but they're still going to have the finals of the tournament and it's going to be right here tonight. So let's see how that goes later on tonight in the main event. Yeah, finals. And we kick off the show with Chris Benoit versus Edge. And about to had good heat and decent wrestling. Chris Benoit drew with Edge in 1029 following a double count out. Chris Benoit with the 63, Edge with the 58. I think I get the 58, yeah, the 58. Good stuff there. Yeah, we gained heat from the story. That's always good. That's always good. And then after the match, the referees... The referees separate Edge and Chris Benoit from brawling. When Edge grabs a chair and scares the refs off. And hits Benoit over the head with the chair. And then he goes to do a concerto. When Hulk Hogan comes out for the save. The save. No. When Vince McMahon comes out and says there is no winner for the match, they'll have a rematch at Judgment Day for, with the U.S. Championship on the line. Also tonight it will be Hulk Hogan versus Chris Benoit. Hulk Hogan and Chris Benoit versus Edge and a partner of his choosing here tonight. I'm sorry I kind of messed up what I was reading there, but that's what's happening here tonight. So good stuff there. Dude. Yeah, brother. Hulk Hogan making his debut here tonight. Let me tell you something, Jack. I don't know much about the Ben Moore Jack, but uh, yeah. But let me tell you something, brother. We have a backstage interview. Triple H interview on his match with Chris Jericho here tonight. He says, RVD got lucky last week. Y2J won't be so lucky in our match tonight because I'm the game. And I'm that damn good. Good stuff there. A 74 for this interview. Cause I'm the game, uh. And then Matt Hardy 
teases Trish Stratus ahead of her match, saying that women don't belong in a ring with men, and he's going to prove it here tonight. Yeah, Matt. Woo. Alright, let's see how this match does. Forty-eight, not bad. And about to have a decent reaction from the crowd, but still poor wrestling. Trish Stratus defeated Matt Hardy in 9:36 by pinfall. Good stuff there. Nice, always nice. The Matt Hardy shocked that he lost his match to Stratus, and he celebrates, and she celebrates. Then Buff Bagwell and Brock Lesnar confront the APA in the locker room and challenge them to a match at Judgment Day for the Tag Team Championships and the APA accept. So we have a Tag Team Championship match at Judgment Day, Beastly Buff versus the APA for the Tag Team Championships at Judgment Day. Good stuff there. Yeah, I think Brock is finally coming into a mold with the old Buff Daddy. Yeah. Or maybe Buff just isn't given the microphone this time. Never know. And about that, a decent reaction from the crowd, but terrible wrestling. Lita defeated X Pac in 8:29 by submission. Lita makes defense number one of the WWF Hardcore Title. Yeah, Lita. Fucking moonsault. Where she looks like she's gonna kill herself every time. Yeah. Buff Bagwell, I mean, I mean, Big Boss Man, Stevie Richards, and Raven chase Lita to the back. Oh, yeah, because 24 7 rules, right? Yeah. Damn. Or is it because they go, ooh, oogly moogly, woman? <laughs> oogly moogly, nice beat up belt. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what that could possibly be. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Urr. Bing, 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 bong. Canon promo on Haku saying, Last week, Haku, you hitting me over the head with the beer bottle was bullshit. Tonight, I'm going to make you pay for what you did to me. Yeah, Canyon, my God. And up next. We got Chris Mr. Jericho's RVD. music hits, and he makes his way to the ring and grabs a mic, and he says, Tonight, I'm going to do what I should have done if the World Heavyweight title wasn't made a triple threat match and beat Triple H. And RVD comes out and says, I'm looking forward to watching your match tonight, but I've got to say, more looking forward to seeing who's the bigger threat in our match at Judgment Day. Then YTJ says, I'm the bigger threat and I'll prove it to everyone right here tonight. Then to Triple H comes out and says, RVD, you got lucky last week, and I know I can beat Jericho because I'm the game and I'm just that damn good. They intensely stare each other down ahead of their match at Judgment Day this Sunday. Good stuff there. Yeah. Haku was shown walking backstage ahead of his match with Canyon. I guess he must have tripped over something. Did you want to read this one? Uh, Mr. Rain. Sure, and about that had a uh, decent reaction from the crowd, but had subpar wrestling. Mr. Canyon defeated Haku in the old 751 by submission. You know, had to get the old Canyon lock in. Yeah, good stuff Water. there. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh. And after the match, Ken grabs a glass of beer, goes to hit it over the head of Haku, but Haku hits him with a super kick. 
Sweet Jesus, damn near kicked the bottle right into his nose. And Hulk Hogan and Benoit are shown getting ready backstage ahead of their tag team match. Good stuff. Let's see how the tag team match does. Edge announces that his tag team partner is... Yo, it's me. It's me. It's DDP. It's DDP. Boo. What a scumbag. Yes. 62. Hogan with the... 62. Yeah, brother. Christian Ron Hulk Hogan don't really work well as a team. I, I mean, I could never imagine Hogan and Benoit not having chemistry. I could never imagine that. Never in a million years. Benoit. It's almost like it's almost like it's almost like two people who hate each other, with two completely different styles of wrestling from two completely different eras of wrestling, were thrown together. It could possibly be, but you know, brother, sometimes you gotta play the cards that are dealt. Dude, brother Jack. You're what about that brother. great heat and decent wrestling. Chris Wall defeated Hulk. Chris Wall and Hulk Hogan defeated Edge, and Diamond Dallas Page in 13-14 when Hulk Hogan pinned Edge. Good stuff there. <laughs> yeah. Edge attacks Benoit after the match, ahead of their U.S. Championship match at Judgment Day. And then Chris Jericho interview ahead of his match with Triple H here tonight, saying that he's going to prove to everybody that he's the bigger threat in the Judgment Day main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. And he's going to prove it here tonight by defeating Triple H. And the main event is up next. What do you guys think it's going to get? I think uh, Triple H is going to win for one. Well, you know, I think I think we'll get a nice solid uh, oh, 72. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say uh, 60. Okay. I'm hoping I mean, for that's a 72. Just being optimistic. You what? I'm hoping for a 72. All right, that's what I'm saying. Let's see what he gets. Let's see this. A 71, I'll take that. Oh my god. And about to have fantastic heat and good wrestling. Triple H defeated Chris Benoit by 17-54 by pinfall. This match is part of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Chris Jericho with a 72, Triple H with a 79. Chris Jericho and Triple H have pretty good chemistry and they lifted the match. Triple H and Vince and Stephanie McMahon have great chemistry. This match got the crowd buzzing. Yeah. That was a good main event there. We need more main events like that, brother. Yeah, for sure. I was really hoping for that 60. Triple H is celebrating Ooh. when... RVD comes out and stares down Triple H. All right, YTJ gets up and joins the stare down as one of these three men will be the new World Heavyweight Champion come Judgment Day. Okay, so this is the main event of Judgment Day for the World Heavyweight Championship. Triple mm -hmm. H, Chris Jericho, and RVD. Who is going to be the new World Heavyweight Champion? We will find out this Sunday. Triple H is going to probably ask his wife to tell her to tell her dad to have him go over. I don't know, bro. We shall Are we going to get so high he's not going to do the job? All right, what do you guys think the show is going to get? Uh, I'm going to say 63. Yeah, I'm going to say 63. a start. I was going to say it's probably going to get a 67. I'm going to get 63 because of the storyline penalty. True, but you never know. 
You never know. Dave Meltzer. Let's see this. A 62. Ooh. My God, Michael. Not terrible. Well, I hope All you right. guys enjoyed this episode. We will catch you guys in the next episode for SmackDown. And then after that, we have the Judgment Day pay-per-view, our first pay-per-view. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. As we are signing off right here. We'll see you guys in the next episode. This is RPJ with Mr. Rain and Root Beer Milk. And we are signing yep. off. Peace.